Tonight on Air Arms TV, we take a look at an air rifle that they say will grow with a shooter and can be used in a variety of disciplines. The Air Arms S400 MPR FT. Welcome to Air Arms TV. Now, Air Arms pride themselves on building a range of quality rifles that suit shooters from all walks of life. The Air Arms Armoury provides a rifle for every type of shooter, but they say that one rifle in particular allows the shooter to grow with the rifle and for the rifle to grow with the shooter as they develop. They say the S400 MPR FT is a multi purpose rifle that will take you right from being a junior shooter to a senior shooter and across a whole level of different disciplines. We're going to put that to the test today with our target shooting expert. Hello, my name's Nick Jenkinson. I'm a field target shooter. I've been shooting for more than 25 years now. And in that time, I've used air arms rifles for all my competition purposes. And uh, that's enabled me to win the world championships three times and uh, the Grand Prix series, the British Grand Prix series, um, five times. So Keith, if you were using this rifle in your hunting situation, how would you uh, approach that 30 yard target? If I was to take that 30-yard that target on from, from here, um, I've got no kind of anything to lean off of them, would I try and find a log or a tree? I would probably go off my knee. Yep. I'd go off my knee, uh, try and get my, um, my foot tucked in behind sure. my, uh, my back there and take a, take a shot somewhere along that kind of line. Yeah, well, that looks pretty good. That looks, And we do do kneeling shots in field target shooting. About 10% of them are taken kneeling. But what I'd like you to do, I'll take the rifle, if you can get into a seating position, I'll show you how we can get more stability. Okay. So just sit at a slight angle to the target so your right leg is coming over here. Yeah. Okay. If you take the rifle, yep. and what I want you to do is use this knee to support the underside of the rifle. So actually just that's holding the rifle? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, if you can raise that knee up as well, if that can, it's sometimes a bit difficult the first few times you do it. If you can bring that leg this way slightly, yeah, and get some contact there with an elbow, yeah, it's all about building a base where there are triangles and links between your arms and your knees and the rifle. And once you start to get the the muscle uh, memory in place and everything, it, you'll find a really stable position that what would suits you. you. The, would you hold the gun with this hand, or would you hold that round your knee for support? Well, you could get 10 field target shooters to sit here and they'd all do it slightly differently. Yeah. It's a freestyle sport really, but I tend to put my hand around the knee, so it's, if you like, supporting the muscles in your back, um, but also supporting the fore end of the rifle. But some people do shoot like that. Yeah. Some people would also say, well, why don't you go prone? Because then you're lower to the ground, more stable. But on, on land like this, where there's grass that's going to get in the way, and also it might be wet weather, you're lying in a pool of mud and this yeah. sort of thing. So yeah. nobody enjoys that. And this is the, this is the stance or the position um, that most field target shooters adopt as often as possible. Thanks very much, Nick, for giving me a wow. few tips there in you're, the field. You're very welcome. You learn something new every day. Every day. day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. This is quite a compact rifle, but the performance is every bit as good as a full-sized field target rifle. In fact, I've used one of these in competitions and done very well with them. I'm hoping in a, in a few moments to do some more shooting with it and uh, show you the accuracy on some targets. But with the two-stage trigger, it's very crisp. The pistol grip allows you to get a good hand position. So the release on the shot is, is positive and consistent, which is something that you require for accurate shooting. The adjustable cheek piece and the adjustable butt pad allow you to get a good sized rifle for your body shape. You can get a cheek piece into your face, you can get a butt pad into your shoulder, you can add spaces to the butt pad to lengthen the stock. So all in all, when they call this a, an MPR, which is a multi-position rifle, 
It is a very versatile and accurate gun and I highly recommend it for anybody who doesn't want to fork out for one of the full-blown F2 rifles with all of the expense and uh, technology that goes with those rifles. This rifle is every bit as accurate and a joy to use. That's a lovely little gun. The trigger's really well set up on this at the moment. This would make a very good rifle for field target and for hunter field target where you have to get into a several positions during the course of a match. It's small enough and light enough so that kneeling shots and standing shots wouldn't be a problem. It seems to give a, 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 an awful lot of shots on one charge and uh, it's a joy to shoot, I must admit. Well that rifle was really well set up now. That was a target at 55 yards and uh, I think Keith is going to have a lot of fun with this. It'll be interesting to see how someone more familiar with hunting rifles is going to get on with this little field target or hunter field target rifle. I think he's going to have a really good time with it. There's something for everyone here. I mean there's a relatively small compact MPR rifle which is fantastic I have to say it's a pleasure to shoot it the barrel is exceptionally accurate and uh, with the adjustment on the stock adjustable features on the stock I think uh, it's possible to get a comfortable field target position but you could also also use it for prone shooting or uh, standing shooting and, uh, and obviously it lends itself to hunter field target as well uh, absolutely fantastic gun so thank you Air Arms for loaning me these guns, I've had a fantastic day in, in uh, some nice weather, I've shot loads of field targets down and missed a few, I'm afraid, sorry to say, but that's down to me, not the rifles. And a big thank you to Team Wild because they've invited me up here to, uh, to do this TV programme and uh, I've enjoyed every second of it. So that's all from me, I hope to see you again and uh, once again thank you very much. So, there you have it, the Air Arms S400 MPR FT can be used for field target or hunter field target and can be put in the hands of a child or an adult and the results are the same. The S400 really is a rifle for all ages and disciplines. Thanks to the Airgun legend Nick Jenkinson for his time and patience to teach us a few tricks. For more information about the amazing Air Arms S400 MPR FT, visit the website at airarms.co.uk. To see more videos on YouTube featuring the fantastic range of air rifles available from Air Arms, click on one of the links now. And to be sure to stay up to date with all of the new videos coming to you from Air Arms TV, make sure you subscribe. You and Air Arms, a winning combination.